Hi friends, my name is Bharat D, URK 20 CS2113. Today we are going to see exercise number 5 in software engineering. It is the sequence diagram aim. Uh, the question given for me is to draw a sequence diagram for the given application online voting system. Uh, let's see the description. The first thing under description is object. Object is like a class. Uh, objects are instances of class that are arranged horizontally, the pictorial representation of an object in a class in a rectangle. This is how an object looks. Then comes the actor. Actor, actor is like a stick diagram which is which is used to demonstrate a person or a some a small uh, character like uh, figure. Then comes a lifeline. Lifeline is like replying to the messages. A lifeline identifies the existence of objects over time. The notation uh, for a lifeline is a vertical dotted line extending from an object it uh, the lifeline is like that it is like replying to the messages here and uh, then comes the activation uh, activations uh, module as a rectangle boxes on the lifeline indicates when the object is performing an uh, an action then comes the message messages are modulated horizontal arrows being activations indicate communication between objects if there are two cl classes or objects like uh, uh, objects like this uh, two objects like this then this is used to connect uh, then this message is used to connect between th those two objects this is the scenario of the application i'll explain the scenario of the application using this diagram this is the sequence diagram of the application let's see there are four main objects here voter candidate subject and election um, control board as i'm using online uh, voting system as a question it's voter candidate system and election control board the first thing the election control board does is send a message to a system of information of collection of districts uh, the election uh, control board checks how many places are there to be uh, are there to be conducted for the election then it uh, collects the information and stores and it collects the informations uh, of how if there are five places where the election is to be done then the five uh, places people and uh, who are eligible to vote and all the data uh, is been collected by the election board then it creates a candidate number uh, uh, to calculate how many total candidates are there then the in information of polling stages uh, if the if in a if an election is taking place in a district the whole district can't uh, vote in the same place so we uh, separate many polling stations uh, that work is done by election control board uh, then uh, it uh, generates the invalid list of voters. The list of voters who, who are not uh, able to vote in this election or uh, does not pass the criteria which has been given by the election control board and the system. Then comes the registration of voters. It is the final uh, data, the final list of people who can register for the votes. Then, uh, then here is the reply from the voter after the registration of voters is given to the uh, voters by election control board then the voter replies voting uh, system candidate choice this uh, system selects which system to choose and how he is going to be voting then comes the request request of candidate uh, authentication if a candidate should uh, vote uh, the system sh uh, should be able to verify him and approve him uh, if the if he is available to vote uh, he can vote. Then uh, the system sends an authentication request for uh, the candidate. Uh, then the appro uh, approval of the voter authentication is being sent by the voter and the candidate to the system. Uh, after this uh, authentication is process, uh, processed and uh, finished, then the system sends and passing voter slip to a voter where he can vote. After that, he can generate the vote. And the election process takes place like starting and voting the polling uh, which the voter will be doing it in the system this is how it is done and uh, after the election is over the system calculates the final results and who is the win who is the winner of the election and displays it to the voter because the voter is the one who uh, votes for the candidate and candidates will also display uh, will know the uh, results uh, which is shown by the system to candidate and to the voter this is how this program is done uh, here are the main classes objects voter candidate system and election control board i have explained what are they works election control board manages the whole system like process collection information of data candidate police uh, polling stations class system analysis election 
process like uh, authentication and vote uh, of the voter and candidate and the candidate candidate is a key person who manages the system and voters of the election and class vote voter casts their vote in the election this is how this program is done thank you